All right, now 26, we're going to find the value of x. So the first thing a lot of students notice is that this chord does not pass exactly through the center, and I think that's a big clue. Honestly, it's just a distraction. It doesn't matter one bit because when we covered all of these intersecting segments, um, I'm sorry, intersecting chords, we never once ever talked about whether or not it had to pass through the center. So we do know that the two pieces of each chord get multiplied by each other. So 12 times 15 is equal to 18 times x. In class, the kind of short nomic we were using for that was that left times right equals top times bottom. In order to do that, you have to make one of them vertical and say left times right equals top times bottom. But either way, as long as we get the two pieces of each chord, so now 12 times 15, again, not one that I can do in my head. Um, 12 times 15 is 180 equals 18x. And now I can do that one in my head. Divide by 18, and I get x equals 10.